to my channel I figured I'd show you all a mod that's in the GTA 5 that I really liked I'm starting to get into this GTA 5 modding and this is for the single player uh, story mode whatever you want to call it option uh, instead of playing online and everything and doing the 5M or LSPDFR which I'm probably gonna get into one of those here later on with this uh, channel that I have but I wanted to show you all an awesome customization. A guy, a person, um, a modder, made a two trucks that I found uh, from the American Truck Simulator and simulated them into the GTA 5. And one of them I'm in right now. And it looks pretty sweet on the inside. Looks just like a truck, a lot better than the normal stock GTA trucks. But also, it's, it's customizable. Um, but with these mods, you know, you have to have simple trainer and everything to uh, get the mods and everything to work. But uh, I'll leave a link in the description below if you're already into the modding and show you the trucks, uh, the links to the trucks. So I wanted to shout out to this guy. Who made them? It's like B4 Good or something like that. But you'll, I'll put a link in the description. But without further ado, we'll start her up. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Let's go on to the outside view. And here it is, the Kenworth T680. This is one of them that he has made, and I'll show you the other one here in just one minute. And I also have this mod where, whenever you know how usually you'll hit the brakes and it goes in reverse automatically? Well, I found this other mod for this. You just stop, and it does not throw it in reverse till you release the brake and then hit it. But it does it in forward. When you go try to go forward, so it actually helps out. But I like the uh, idea of being able to stop without it going straight into reverse. And it picks up any trailer uh, that's on the docks or anything. Oh, actually, here's one right here we can show you. I don't know where that came from, but it wasn't there a minute ago. Apparently, I can't drive. But yeah, hooks straight up to it. You can just take off with it. Which is pretty neat. Uh, all the features and everything. You can change the color and everything on it. You can also customize it. Simple trainer, vehicle mod. I think it's down in the components. Yeah, you can change the wheels on it as well. I think. No, I think that might be the other one that I'm thinking of. This one you can. But you can put turbo on it. Change the to the xenon headlights. I don't think I can put window tent on this one. You go down the components. Hit enter. Sometimes it works straight. There we go. You can change it to where instead of having the tanks, you can have the uh, newer style look. More stairs. Bump, uh, front bar, change it to a higher. Change it to one exhaust. Actually, it's supposed to go. It's actually supposed to delete the exhaust. Sometimes this mod works right. Sometimes it don't. There it goes. All right. Then you have the exhaust towards the back instead of on the sides. easier if I just disconnect the uh, trailer to show you there we go can get it to work at first but yeah you could change it around and sometimes the mod messes up a little bit and you have to just cycle through it again
get the uh, way it looked before. And sometimes it does that. I don't know why. It's weird. And you just cycle back through and it'll start bringing stuff back up. Does it sometimes? I don't know why, but it's pretty cool, I think. And seeing that one, now let's look at the other one. Uh, Spine 2005 Freightliner. This one is made by the same person. Uh, it's a Freightliner XL Classic. 2005 model version. This one it's actually got you can do the same thing with it. Change the get a bull bar. Uh, let's see. Of course it does that. There we go. Change the look of it. And this one I'm pretty sure yeah the window tint works on this one. change the wheels on this one actually just leave a stock to make it look still look like a truck this one actually has all the transmission upgrades and everything you can do to it I'm pretty sure he's not done with that car or that truck I mean because that was looks like it's pretty fresh I'm not sure that's about all you can do with that. And of course, let's see if maybe. No, we can't do underglow. That would have been cool if we could. Let's see if this works. Yeah, we do it by like this. Enable under vehicle lights. Problem with this ma this enabling of this one is that it looks so bright and when you go on the inside. Just looking the other way. It looks. Thanks to Realtor.com's Home Alerts, we were able to see the newest homes on the market super fast. So we could finally buy our first big boy. Hold up. That was weird. Wow. What the? I have no clue what that was. That was the weirdest thing ever. It's almost like an ad blaring through my thing. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but that was weird. Oh, I bet I know what it was. It's because I got those uh, website up with the links to the uh, trucks. Probably one of them ads popping up. Shouldn't be doing that. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Yeah, this is all one take, so if you want to watch through it, that's that's up to you, but um, yeah, I figured I'd just show you all here on GTA 5 with these mods that you can actually. This one you can do a little bit more to. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you the liveries for it. Uh, here it is. You can actually got a, a few liveries you can choose from. Plain Jane. This one, I'm not sure. There it is. Classic on the side. I think some of them ain't even showing up on it. No liveries at all. Hmm. They had more than that before. I don't know why it's not showing up now. Oh, there it goes. I think it's just having issues loading up stuff. But... Ah, shut up. You can also hook up to a trailer with this one. And you can change the color of it whenever you got your color menu. Let's see here, go with black. Change the color of your truck and everything. Let's see. But other than that, I thought I figured I'd show you all the mods for this on GTA 5 I think it's pretty cool that uh, somebody can take this and just do it modding is awesome I wish I could mod 
Well, I probably could if I could learn it. But a lot of these mods, you gotta have certain things. And I'll share the links down below if you're already into modding for GTA 5. That way you can get the truck if you want to use it. But I'll see you in the next one.